With the relentless rain in the past 48 hours, we have received reports of flash floods and landslides in different parts of the country. Lamahi, Rajpura and Gadwa are the worst affected regions as security personnel have shifted the residents from these locations to safer places. Likewise, water level of the rivers in Rupandihi, Palpa, Nawalparasi and Putantu have crossed dangerous water level. Authorities in the meantime have urged the people living nearby riverbanks to remain vigilant against the possible danger. Good evening, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Responsible authorities indulge in blame game over 100 kg gold scam. Home Minister trying to shrug off responsibility. Koshi province finding it difficult to go for confidence vote as the Supreme Court verdict awaited. Power sharing issues seen in Lumbini, Madesh and Sudhupashim provinces. China removes Foreign Minister King Gang who has not been seen publicly for about a month fearing various speculations. Wang Yi appointed new Foreign Minister. And a debutant Philippine stun co-host New Zealand at the FIFA Women's World Cup. Colombia blanks, South Korea 2-0, Norway and Switzerland play a goalless stalemate. Investigations are continuing into the 100 kg gold scam, which has raised serious issues over the security at the Tribune International Airport. Meanwhile, authorities, including the Home Minister, have been evading questions on security lapses by pointing fingers at each other. Two days after the gold smuggling incident that rocked the nation on the night of July 18, last week, Home Minister Naran Kaji Shrestha went on a monitoring of the security situation at the TIA. Speaking to the media after the inspection, the Home Minister said that the investigations would not spare anybody, irrespective of rank or profile. Minister Strester also defended his ministry, saying that none of the officials deployed at the TIA immigration belonged to his department. Even as the Home Minister said that his department officials did not have a jurisdiction over the TIA security, former Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has pointed fingers at Home Minister Strester himself over the security lapses. Security analysts feel that Home Minister Shrestha has the authority to regulate the TIA security if such a need arises. It may also be recalled that a 33 kg gold smuggling had occurred when KP Sharma Oli was the Prime Minister of the country. The involvement of customs officials was also established at the time. However, then Prime Minister Oli did not make public the report of the probe committee. The security responsibility at the immigration has been given to officials under Finance Ministry, which only favours the argument that the Ministry appoints officials to set up dealings with gold smugglers. The latest gold scam has raised significant questions on the TIA security alongside the security of two other international airports in Pairoa and Pokhara. Provinces that were expected to perform well during their second term have been busy with internal disputes since the beginning of the term. Changes in alliances and disputes regarding power share have been on the fore. The Koshi province government has been limited to a caretaker government after questions were raised concerning the formation of the government. Likewise, Lumini, Sudurpashim and Madesh Pradesh have yet to gain their full shape. The controversy regarding the inclusion of the vote of the Speaker during the formation of Koshi Province Government is under consideration at the Supreme Court. The government will remain in the status of a caretaker until a full verdict is issued by the full bench of the court. The province government that has to take the confidence vote prior to the 3rd of August deadline has been waiting for the court's verdict. Likewise, three ministries have remained vacant amid lack of consensus regarding power share in Lumini province. Nepali Congress had claimed two seats, CPN Mao Center one, however, province leaders have yet to reach an agreement. Likewise, Sur Pashim government that was formed around six months ago has yet to gain a full shape as well. One ministry has said, in fact, one ministry was said to be allocated to Nagarikun Mukti Party. However, the dispute has halted expansion of the Council of Ministers. 
Dispute within the party regarding who will assume the responsibility has prevented the province government from getting a full shape. In the meantime, CPNUML was ousted from the Madesh Pradesh government following political development at the centre. The chief minister has not been able to appoint ministers in Madesh province. Meanwhile, political parties' inclination towards power and facilities has raised question on the effectiveness of the province government. The government has made preparation to correspond with the Hong Kong Customs Department regarding the gold smuggling case. Around one quintal gold was smuggled into Nepal through an aircraft of the Cathay Pacific Airlines via Hong Kong on the 15th of July. However, Information Officer of the Department, Purna Bikram Kharga, said that amid absence of a separate Customs Assistance Mutual Agreement, CMAA, with Hong Kong, the authority is uncertain regarding on what basis to correspond. As per the international regulation, a country must not export items that are declared illegal to the countries that are importing it. However, the gold had been cleared by the customs check at Hong Kong and arrived in Nepal. The government has changed the leadership at the Customs Department of Tribune International Airport following the incident. Tikraj Pandey has replaced Arun Pokhrel, who was on a leave since past two months. More than 30,000 livestock died due to lumpy skin disease this year alone. According to the data of production of dairy products and livestock that have died collected by the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development, livestock farmers have been compelled to bear a loss of around 100 billion rupees. In the meantime, the government has reduced budget for entities related to livestock health, which has made the control of the epidemic even more challenging. The number of livestock farmers seeking treatment for lumpy skin disease at the Central Referral Veterinary Hospital in the capital's Tripurashar is on the rise. The disease that started being detected last year has claimed 30,000 livestock, while farmers in the country have already endured a loss of 100 billion rupees. In the meantime, budget has not been allocated for 20 entities related to livestock health. The heads of these entities have been flocking the administrative hub of the country, Singadarbar, seeking government assistance in addressing the issue. The central government has been uncertain regarding entities like Central Veterinary Laboratory, Veterinary Standards and Drug Regulatory Ra Laboratory and Animal Quarantine Division, among others, should be managed or regulated under the local government. Efforts are underway to address the importance of these entities to the Office of the Prime Minister and the Ministry of Finance. Dozens of samples of diseases including bird flu, African swine fever, pestidus petites ruminants, PPR and lumpy skin disease have been kept at the Central Veterinary Laboratory. However, they have yet to be tested amid lack of testing kits. Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal two weeks ago had directed all the department heads to make maximum efforts to control the disease. However, the government has yet to form a mechanism in this regard. In our Public Voice segment, today we have asked in several provinces regarding ways to protect livestock from diseases. Let's take a look at what they had to say. पशु बीमा कार्यक्रम प्रभावकारी होना ना सकता इधर पशु चोर पायर उनमें धेरे छेती भाई रहेगा था इस सरकार ने निश्चित रूप में खूब को व्यवस्था करने पर सा पशु डॉक्टर हर लाई गांव-गांव में उपचार कर लाएगी पत्थर में पड़ जाए बीमा को व्यवस्था भी नहीं करना पड़ सा पशु चिकित्सा को व्यवस्था करी प्रत्येक वार्ड वार्ड में तो घूमती टोली संचालन करने पर था सरकार ने गाय बेची और क्या लगी वहाँ रब बहुत एक छुट्टा उन्हें पड़ता बिजनेस के टोली खटाए रा छिटे नियंत्रण करने को लगी एकदम आवश्यक था नहीं कुछ रोग को लगी नियंत्रण को लगी अब सरकार ये बने हर दिन पड़े पशु मामारी को रूप में घोषणा करे रहते हैं महामारी घोषणा करे रहते हैं लाई उपचार दिए लेने जो गाय गोरु को के मरिया का के खर्च पर से दिए लेने जो बिग्गा रू आयर गोरे रात इस का से समस्या का समाधान रू के कोस्ट आवश्यक दिए रू प्रयोग करने वाले गोरा निकालने पड़ो आवश्यक उपचार तो संबंधित ठाम में पुकने पड़ता है आवश्यक दिन ऊपर ही है ना सुई लगाओ ऊपर ही हो अब तो पढ़ते के लिए अब तार तार बड़ा तो डोड़ियार घर क्या रे बेटनेरी में लाना गार हो सा जून पनी पशु वालों ने रोग लाया कुछ तो ये एक ठंड में लौर रहे रा तो इसको बेवस्ता बन गरे रा तो ये राम रूप आजार गार्डी इस तो लाइक जा पाले पशु स्वास्थ्य को आवश्यक 
जुनसुक रोग में उपलब्धता होने पे रेस्ट करनी दवाई ये दवाई ये औषधी यो ये औषधी यो ये ये रोग लो ये रोग लो दवाई दिया दिन भाई तो होते नहीं भाई आर उपचार कर दी धेरी हमें सबले अध्ययन अनुसंधान कर अविलंब चाहे इसको निराकरण तर्फ चाहिए लग्न पर्च दवाई मूलक कसरी पैले समय में उपलब्ध कराने महामारी जाने अन्य रोग बारे में किसान जानकारी कराने पशु पशु अस्पताल खटि डाक्टर ने समय समय में उपचार कर समय समय में देखरेख कर Public polls. Before that, let's take a look at the result from yesterday's poll. Yesterday, we had asked, "Why does the problem of sewage management in urban areas occur repeatedly?" Fifty-five percent voted for A, mismanaged urbanisation. Twenty-two percent for B, encroachment of rivers and streams, and twenty-three percent for C, short-sighted policy. And here's today's question. What could be the reason for the provision of practical exams in the compulsory subjects of school curriculum? The options are A to improve results, B to provide practical knowledge and C pressure from schools. Voting is on. Type any WS select your option A, B or C and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. Time now for international update. China has removed King Gang as foreign minister less than 7 months after he was appointed to the post. The role will be taken up by the Communist Party foreign affairs chief Wang Yi who was previously foreign minister. King's prolonged disappearance from public view and his ministry silence over it has fueled furious speculation. The 57-year-old's last known public engagements were on 25th of June. Appointed to his post last December, King was seen as a trusted aide of Chinese President Xi Jinping. No reason was given for King's removal, but the report said President Xi had signed the decree authorizing the move. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good night.